if you're considering condo living, condo fees are inevitable. Do you know what sucks more than a video about condo fees? Buying a condo and not knowing what your condo fees cover. Watch this video for information you need to know about condo fees. Hi, I'm Jen McPhilmy, real estate associate realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. Not all condo fees are created equally. So you may be thinking, I know what condo fees cover. My friend just bought a condo and they told me what their fees were and what they covered. Well, that assumption is a huge mistake unless you're buying your friend's condo. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you what condo fees typically cover. Why the condo fee amount isn't the same from suite to suite in the same condo complex and why different condo complexes have different condo fees even if they seem kind of like the same buildings but before we get started go ahead and click the subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on the videos that i post weekly okay so getting right into it this is what condo fees typically cover from a basic level reserve fund contribution professional management insurance for common areas and exterior maintenance. So this basic level of condo fees is typical for townhouses or duplexes that are condos. The average monthly condo fee for these items is around $185 per month, but it can vary from building to building. So if the condo is an apartment style condo, a low rise or a high rise, in addition to the items above, they also usually include utilities for the common area. Apartment style condos have a huge range of uh, monthly condo fees, but if you're just getting these basics, you'll be looking at around $230 per month. Of course, this does vary from building to building. So what that means is that on top of the condo fees, you would still be paying for heat, water and sewer, electricity, and internet. Many apartment style condos in Edmonton that don't have their own furnace and hot water tanks also typically include heat and water and sewer within the condo fee, which I think is probably the most common in Edmonton. So this most common type of condo fee includes the following. Reserve fund contribution, professional management, insurance for common areas, exterior maintenance, interior maintenance for common areas, utilities for common areas, heat, water, and sewer. So condo fees that include these items usually range from 350 to 500. Of course, that does vary by building and suite. On top of those items, other things that could be included in condo fees are maintenance for additional amenities like pools, hot tubs, social rooms, exercise rooms, etc. Maybe they'll have additional utilities like electricity or maybe even internet or they might include some luxury amenities like concierge, valet parking, and some condo fees also include additional security. Condo fees do not include property taxes. Each owner is responsible for their property taxes on top of their condo fees. It's also important to not assume that your friend's neighbor's condo fees are the same as your friend's. They'll typically include the same thing, but they could be a different amount. So your condo fees are determined essentially by two things, what's included or what's covered under your condo fees. Typically, the more things covered or included, the higher the fees and the less things, the lower the fees. It's a huge red flag if you have high fees and there's not very much covered. And number two, the size of your suite and any titled stalls that you have. So condo fees increase over the years. But older condos sometimes have higher fees for same size units in other buildings that are newer, assuming they have similar type of amenities. So this is why you're gonna find a large range of fees from building to building and suite to suite. Make no assumptions, look at the MLS sheet and see what the fee is and what is included for that fee. Definitely do not overlook this. All condos listed on the MLS or on my website provide details of what the condo fee is and what the condo fee covers. 
I can't stress this enough, this is such important information for you to view and consider. Your realtor can provide you this information if you're having a difficult time locating it online. So please do not assume what your friend's condo fees cover and what they pay for condo fees is what you would be paying unless you're buying their suite. It's important to have a good understanding of what is covered so you'll know what additional expenses you'll have on top of your condo fees. Well, I hope that gives you a basic understanding of what's included in your condo fees when considering your next condo purchase. Thanks for watching. Bye.